this time, let's showcase the practical application of the JNC Radio VNA 3G. Now let's get back in the car and use the VNA. We pulled out our JN Cradio VNA 3G to run a test of the data. When we use this VNA for the first time, we will find that the above interface is very messy and we need to reset it. However, in practice, many of the lines are unnecessary, so we can turn off some of the things we don't need. We click on the blank space on the right side of the screen, click on display, then trace, turn off trace 2, and keep only trace 0 and trace 1. We need two formats, one for SWR and the other for Smith chart. First we change the format of trace 0 to SWR. It is now SWR. Next, we'll switch to trace 1 for setup. We'll adjust trace 1 from the S21 parameter to the S11 parameter. Click on channel to change it. Then we click on format to change it to a Smith chart. At this point it's set up. Let's go back to trace 0, and I also want to adjust the vertical coordinate. Let's start by setting scale to 1 and C. Since SWR doesn't work below 3, we need to set the step size a little smaller to make the data more dense. Let's set the scale again to 0.5. At this point the setup makes more sense. Now we need to calibrate our JNC Radio VNA 3G. The first step in calibration is to change the frequency range. Since we are using the M104 antenna at a frequency of about 14 MHz, we need to set it to 13 to 15. We click on stimulus and click start to enter 13 MHz. Then click again, select stop and enter 15 MHz. It's right. Now click Cal then click Reset to calibrate. Take out the calibration kit that comes with our kit. Calibrate Open Circuit first, then calibrate Short Circuit, and finally calibrate Load Circuit. Since we don't need to use S21 for our test antenna, this calibration can end here. In total, there are about a dozen channels that hold data. Let's save it at channel 5, and next time if we need to use this band again, just pull up the result. For the last step, we use the SMA to UHF adapter, attach it and we can connect the antenna for testing. If we want to operate in CW mode, we need to adjust the antenna length. Since the frequency is too high now, we need to extend the whip a bit. We'll adjust it step by step by observing the data on the VNA. Adjustment complete, now we can continue to operate. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this product, you may want to enter the official website to check the details and get more information. Purchase by buying directly from our official website or choose your nearest reseller.